Hello there, one and all, and welcome to episode 316 of Love at First Scent with me, Persilaise, live on YouTube. And if you are a regular viewer, you will see that I'm also live in the usual surroundings, back home after the madness of Paris over the last few days. And if you if you don't know what um, I'm talking about, you may want to sort of search through the channel to see what the video was that I broadcast just prior to this one on Thursday. First comment for this one goes to DJ who says, hi, Jody's here as well saying hello. Welcome to all of you, whether you're watching live or you're watching the recording. Um, feel free to leave a comment, ask a question. I usually get round to them in due course. And if you'd like to find out how you can support my work, you should be able to see a link to coffee in the video description below. For those of you who like to tune in live, the, the plan for today is that we're going to do a review of this new Gavelin, and then we'll come back with another new release as well from a completely different brand, so hopefully we'll be able to do two back-to-back -back videos today. More hellos coming through. Uh, Keith is here saying hello. Rich Mitch is here as well. Katzi is saying hello from Edinburgh. And Perfumes Fashion Syndrome says uh, saying hello, Joe. hello from Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Angela's here too. And DJ saying, people I know are split on this one and said the Tonka is, is, hang on, what are you saying? The Tonka is something, the DNA too much. Do you mean that there's basically too much Tonka? Okay, perfect um, timing for us to get into what we're talking about today. It is this new release from Garlin. Yet another Shalimar, it almost feels like it's, you know, another year, another Shalimar. And in some cases, more than one Shalimar. This is a kind of follow-up to what they gave us last year. So last year we had a Shalimar, the first of the Milesim Shalimars. Can you see that name there? It, which was called Vanilla Planifolia. And it was supposed to be recognizably Shalimar, but with um, the vanilla amped up, a particular variety of vanilla. Um, but I only reviewed it, I think... Was it? I can't remember whether it was earlier this year because I managed to get. I didn't. I didn't get. I managed to get a bottle of this when it was released in the UK. I seem to remember it was a Selfridges exclusive, but I did finally track down a bottle when I was in France earlier this year, and now I think as of just a couple of days ago, released in the UK, we have Shalimar Millicim Tonka, which I think is also going to be exclusive to Selfridges in the UK limited editions, several comments about them already. David says, it's an absolutely gorgeous iteration of Shalimar. I love Shalimar Tonka. Okay, high praise indeed. This one feels closer to the Shalimar DNA than the Shalimar vanilla. Um, Jin Tanik says, hello from Doha. So glad to catch you live. You're all very, very welcome. Let's do the unsealing because I have not smelt this genuinely. The geek in me, and as you know, the, the geek in me is very, very strong. Um, the, the geek, the geekiness is very strong in me. Is kind of annoyed by the fact that they haven't stuck to the same packaging. I thought, well, at least for the sake of the Millicene range, just just go with the same look. Um, and I think I think I preferred last year's, but then you, there you go. You can't have everything. Um, Gavin says this sounds like Montgarlin without the lavender. Um, Katzi says, not the packing it gene is that important, but for what it's worth, I do prefer the new box. <laughs> Fine, okay, well, somebody's going to be happy. Um, do, do we need more Shalimars? I mean, obviously, that's the big, oh, it, it is, it is still really, really beautiful bottle, isn't it? Take a look at that. So, and it's got, I think, the same kind of little bow ribbon thing that last year's had. Let's get last year's out as well. Um, I guess I guess the marketing people at, at Gavlin must be desperately, constantly trying to think of ways to reinvigorate reinvigorate Shalimar. I mean, as far as I'm aware, Shalimar does do extremely well in France, but maybe not quite as well in the rest of the world. But I think you could probably say that about all of Gavlin's output. Let's do a comparison. Okay, so the new one has got there's the new one. Oh, and the new one has got a darker label. Um, does 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 it actually say anywhere on it which is which? Uh, okay, there's a tiny little sticker at the bottom that says Tonka, so better not get them mixed up, because the actual label at the front doesn't say anything. So you can see that the juice of the new one, this is the new one, is considerably darker. The label is darker as well, but otherwise the bottles are the same. 
and they're both EDPs. Are they both EDPs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're both EDPs. Um, David says the juice color is everything. The black label sets them apart. I I think I need I think we need to get spraying, don't we? So here we go. Composed by Delphine Jelk, who seems to be getting credited with so many of the the the, the, the new garlands. This is Chalimar Millicine Tonka. Where's a good place to spray this? Here we go. And, and I should say, as you know, I mean, some of you may not know if you're not regular viewers, but I absolutely adore Chalimar. It is one of my favourite releases of all time, one of my favourite things to smell on Madame Persolais. And so there is also a bit of me, there's a bit of me that's excited by the prospect of a different take on Chalimar, but there's also another bit of me that thinks, why? You know, why, why do we need all this stuff? Why do we want to divert attention away from the original and the best? Anyway. I'm spraying now. Gosh, and the juice does come out quite dark on the blotter as well. Okay, let us see then. Do you happen to know the official release date in the UK tomorrow, maybe, says Katz. Yes, it's literally sort of like any day now. It may already be on the on the Selfridges website, I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, I should just purr by by the um the mic. It must be it must be a really really fascinating exercise for a perfumer to think. How can I make something that will recognizably be what it's named after? and yet will also very, very definitely and very overtly and very explicitly have a certain facet or a certain element amplified and emphasised. I would, I would imagine that must be tricky. I mean, or, or maybe if you're an experienced trained perfumer, it's the kind of thing that you can do in your sleep. Or maybe it's the particular structure of Shalimar that lends itself well to these, to these sorts of essays. Um, but, but yes, I think as has already been said by a few other people, you smell it, and you get Shalimar, and at the same time, you also get this massive dose of Tonka. So, for again, I've said this several times before, for, for the benefit of the, the two of you, maybe even only one of you out there who, who don't know what Shalimar is, Shalimar is a classic, classic amber composition. It opens with a really overdosed and yet beautiful uh, beginning of, 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 of bergamot. So you get the citrusy facet, but also the smoky leather, leathery facet of the bergamot that goes into a gorgeous uh, leather heart. And in the base, in the famous base, you get this superb vanillic, ambery sensuality with lots of other things thrown in as well. Uh, you, you, get, you, you get a kind of gently caramelized quality. You get the herbs that you associate with Gala. It, it, is, it is probably, you know, if, if you wanted to do a competition for the best amber perfume out there, Shalimar would have to be high, high up, up, up on your list, if not at number one. Um, so you get all of that, and then you get the facets that you associate with Tonka, which is the, the kind of hay-like quality. Tonka bean contains a lot of a material called coumarin, which has got an almondy facet, an outdoorsy quality, a sunshine on hay to slash tobacco quality, something quite sweet, dessert-like, gourmand-like. Tonka beans can be used in, in cooking, in baking, in particularly in, in, in pastry cooking. You, you, you can take a tonka bean, I'm telling you all this stuff as though you don't know, but you, you can take a tonka bean and sort of grate it like a piece of nutmeg and let the shavings fall onto a, a fruit tart or some kind of patisserie. Um, and so you get all of that here as well. Um, and it, 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 it's beautiful. It's, it's, ext it's extremely striking. But is it a replacement for the original? I want, to, I want to spray last year's as well. Or maybe it's not even trying to be a replacement. You know, maybe this is just a sort of, let's have some fun with it. Limited edition. Do a few bottles. See how they sell. And then that will be the end of it, because last year's really has gone. And as far as I know, it's not available anywhere else. So maybe maybe it is Galan just having fun. So this is last year's vanilla, which uh, I, I did do a, a whole video on, I seem to remember, unless I'm making that up. Let's see what that was like straight out of the bottle. Um... <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, again, it's Shalimar, but this is this is Shalimar that's coming through a kind of ice cream parlor or through uh, <laughs> through the, the 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 sort of creme patissiere, the filling of a of a of a chocolate tart or or something along those lines. It it is it was really interesting actually, considering the differences between the two. The new one has got the bitterness of Tonka, which is really interesting. Um, whereas last year's has got that really, really high quality vanilla ice cream twist to it. Absolutely fascinating. Um, David says, I prefer this year's to the vanilla because I found last year's too dense. Whereas this one has the freshness element that makes Shalimar Shalimar. Very, very good point, because of course it is the bergamot that makes Shalimar Shalimar. I'm going to label last year's as well. Give those blotters a couple of minutes to sort of do their thing, uh, because I would like to share the press release with you. I think it's a long one again. So as you know, we we don't um we don't spend ages and ages reading the very long one, long ones. So it starts with a quote from Delphine Jelk, who's the perfumer, and she said, The Tonka bean is one of nature's wonders. This delectable little bean smells of powdery almond, caramel, chocolate, a true delight. In Shalimar, it's as much a part of the fragrance's signature as vanilla. For me, magnifying it was self-evident. Um, some legends can be, this isn't a quote from her anymore, some legends can be retold endlessly. Some fragrances never cease unfolding new splendors and can inspire the most virtuosic variations. And the sumptuous trail of Shalimar Garlin invites us to a truly exceptional experience with its new millecime, celebrating the most iconic of ambery fragrances inspired by the Orient. A scent of delight showcasing one of the most emblematic materials of the icon, Shalimar millecime tonka. Indeed, the exquis exquisite tonka bean is as much a part of the ambry accord uh, of Jacques Garlin's masterpiece as the carnal vanilla showcased in Shalimar millecime vanilla planifolia. It is this fragrant jewel that Thierry Wasser, Garlin Master Perfumer, and Delphine Gelk, Garlin Perfumer, have lovingly faceted in a new millicene conceived like a grand cru. With the peerless know-how passed on in the house from one generation to another, they celebrate Shalimar and shed new light on it, thanks to this olfactory treasure. Precious limited edition, and so on. What else do they tell us? Is there anything? Uh, oh, something about Tonka. So are you ready for a little lesson about Tonka? Almond, vanilla, honey, chocolate, pistachio, coconut, hay, tobacco. The Tonka bean offers so many olfactory possibilities that it is almost a fragrance in itself. Warm, round, and balsamic. It is no surprise then that Garlin perfumers have made it one of their signature notes, one of the cornerstones of the Garlinade at the heart of so many of the house's mythical perfumes. The Coumarin, it owes its bitter almond note to, was isolated as early as 1820. Its use by Amé Garlin and Giki in 1889 made it one of the pioneering materials of modern perfumery. The Tonka bean is so prized by perfumers and pastry chefs, it must be picked at the top of a tropical tree Dipteryx odorata, called sarapia, or sarapia, is it, in Venezuela, which can rise to up to 25 meters in height. The harvesters, called sarapieros, collect an egg-shaped fruit that contains a shell, which in turn holds a precious little bean that will yield the absolute. Um, and I suppose we probably don't need to read any more. It goes on about rich facets with salted caramel and unctuous chocolate um, and so on. Uh, oh, this is interesting, the chapter heading here. In the new millicime, vanilla blends with tonka bean and enhances its facets. Exclusive to Garlin, the vanilla tincture that enriches the composition is drawn from pods of an exceptionally high quality organically grown. Harvested in Madagascar, the fresh pods are delivered to Garland's production facilities in Orvin, near, is it Rambouillet? Cut manually with a massicot, they are macerated in organic beetroot alcohol for several months, a process perfected over more than two centuries by the house perfumers to reveal the full richness of the suave chocolate leather aromas of the divine pod. And then there's something a little bit about the bottle, and so on, probably not, oh, this that's quite a cool image, maybe I'll, maybe I'll post this on the Website. Can you see that there without the interference of the lights or the different Shalimars? That is a good image. 
Um, and it says here that it's available from October 2022 at um, Selfridges. And somebody, I think, was asking about the UK price. The 50 mils is going to set you back £90. Before I have a final slip, I could see the comments flashing by quite um, energetically. So what, what are people what are people saying? Um, Lisa Lott says, already tried and bought two bottles. Wow, you must have really liked it. Um, waiting for my packages. Meanwhile, I have it on my jumper. The sales lady sprayed me generously. Um, Pradeep says, um, Millicene Iris. I wonder if they might do like a Millicene Bergamot. That, that would be interesting. I admit I'd like a Millicene Iris, says Paul Perfemo. Um, just picked it up from Covent Garden, says Claire Gardner, and now at home, first spritz, instantly in love with it. Good to know. Um, Michael says, imagine a business puts out a product to make money. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Other people complaining about the fact that they're doing this to make money. Millicene Oud, says Pradeep. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Lisa Lott says, Tonka Bean is grated into high quality hot chocolate in France. It's delicious. I've tried it recently in a potimarron soup, which is a sort of pumpkin. I didn't know that. Um, they only did one release of the Millicene vanilla, vanilla, is that correct, as Wildflowers? Yeah, it came and it went. If this is just an alternative to Tonka Imperial, says Woozy, I might just stick to that. <laughs> Oh, I can always rely on you to bring things crashing back down to earth. Millicene Amberwood says spaced out. Okay, let's have a final sniff of the Tonka. It, it really is Tonka, isn't it? And even even down to the, because because of the 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 Coumarin aspect of the Tonka can sometimes be a, a little bit sharp, a little bit shrill. Um. And and they haven't shied away from including that here as well. You, it, it, it's no surprise that coumarin appears in the form of crystals, right? You could almost sort of see these tiny, tiny little white crystals in this. It's a very cold Shalimar, and that's fascinating because I I consider Shalimar to be one of the warmest of scents, and and yet the the tonka is bringing an an, an intriguing powdery coolness. Um, yeah, whereas last year's, it really is all about the vanilla. Hmm. I think maybe we will be asking Madame Persilace to spray this on herself tonight as we as we um, go out somewhere, maybe. Um, why, are you, why are you crying, Paul Perfermo? I don't know why you're crying. Okay. Definitely a blotter update uh, coming up on this one, and maybe even a Madame Persilace skin update. But for now, thank you very much for watching. We will let YouTube do its thing for a couple of minutes and I will be back with a new release that I think is going to be very, very, very different from this one, from a completely different sort of brand. But for now, thank you very much for watching and see you in a bit.